I'm Walter Isaacson, the author of The Innovators, and British innovators have been at the core of the digital revolution, starting with Ada Lovelace, that's where my book starts, all the way through Tim Berners-Lee, who created the World Wide Web. Another great British innovator in the history of computing, of course, was Alan Turing. Alan Turing does two very important things. First of all, he reads Ada Lovelace's notes about computers that she had written a century before. And in the late 1930s, he says, how do we know that machines can't think? Because Lady Lovelace had written, and this is what Turing called Lady Lovelace's objection, that machines would be do, able to do everything except think. And Turing said, how do we know they can't think? And so he devised what he called the imitation game, or the Turing test, where you put a machine and a person in a different room, you send in questions, and if you can't tell the machine f from the person, then there's no reason to say that the machine isn't thinking. We still argue today, it's probably one of the most argued about subjects in computers, is artificial intelligence. Was Turing right? Does the Turing test make sense? Can a machine pass the Turing test? You have all sorts of debates about it, but to me it shows the two strands of computer thought. The Alan Turing strand, which is let's create artificial intelligence, and the Ada Lovelace strand, which is let's, let's connect humans to machines because together, in partnership, machines and humans will be able to do more amazing things than humans alone or machines alone. To find out more about these hackers, geniuses, and geeks who created the digital revolution, I hope you'll pick up my book, uh, The Innovators.